Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. So, my name is Priyanka Singh and I am your science teacher. Today I am here to start with the 8th class science. And from today onwards, unit 2 is starting. That is material, unit 2 materials. Chapter 3 and the name of the chapter is synthetic fibers and plastics. So let's start. There are various materials that we use in our daily life. These materials may be natural or man-made. These fabrics that are used in our daily life may be made up of natural fiber or man-made, artificial fiber. The clothes which we wear are made up of fabrics. Fabrics are the material produced by weaving or knitting thread or filaments form which cloth is made. Fabrics are obtained from natural or artificial sources. The threads are made from fibers. Fibers are used to make carpets, parachutes, upholstery, etc. Types of fabrics. The fibers are divided into the following types. Natural fibers. The fiber that come from plant and animal source are called natural fibers. For example, silk wool are of animal origin while cotton jute and flax are of plant origin animal fibers are protein in nature and plant fibers are cellulose based natural fibers do not possess a perfect combination of characteristics performance availability as well as cost synthetic fibers the fibers made by man in the laboratories are called artificial fibers, for example, rayon, nylon and polyester. These synthetic fibers are made from chemical substances. A synthetic fiber is made up of a long chain like molecules. These long chains like molecules are called polymers. Polymer come from Greek works poly meaning many and mer meaning part or unit. Importance of synthetic fibers. Natural fibers are not durable as they are easily affected by weather conditions and lose their original characteristics. Natural fiber cannot be made into desired shapes. Therefore, the need to develop synthetic fibers arose. Characteristics of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers have the following advantages. Synthetic fibers are much lighter in weight as compared to wheat metals etc they are lighter than natural fibers such as cotton jute etc synthetic fiber are tough and durable because of very high tensile strength as compared to natural fibers such as cotton silk wool jute etc synthetic fibers do not wrinkle as they retain their crease for longer duration Synthetic fibers are not affected by acids and alkalis. Natural fibers such as cotton, wool, etc. are damaged by acids and alkalis. They are water resistant and dry up quite quickly. They do not bleed color and shrink on washing. Synthetic fibers are easily available, cost effective and can be easily maintained. Polymerization Polymers are very large molecules having high molecular mass. Polymers are also called macromolecules. They are made up of simple structural units joined together. The simplest molecule from which the repeating units are obtained is called a monomer. The process of making large polymer molecules by joining together many small monomer molecules is called polymerization. For example, polyethylene, that is polythene, is formed by joining a long chain of monomer named ethene. Polyethylene or polythene is made from lots of ethene. So, it's time for activity. And the aim of this activity is to compare the tensile trend of different fibers. Materials required, some thread made of different types of natural and synthetic fiber have same thickness and length of about 50 cm. An iron stand with a clamp, polythene bags, weights, etc. Now, we are moving towards the procedure. 
Take an iron stand with a clamp. Tie a cotton thread to the clamp such that it hangs freely from it. At the free end of thread, suspend a pan or a polythene bag so that weights can be placed in it. Add weights one by one till the thread breaks. Note down the total weight that is required to break the thread. This weight signifies the tensile strength of the fiber. Repeat the same process with other threads also. Observation Record your observation in a tabular form. This is a table in which you have to record. In this, serial number is given, type of thread or fiber is given and in the last, total weight required to break the thread. Now, rayon. Rayon or artificial silk is made from cellulose obtained from wood pulp. It is prepared by modifying cotton chemically. Cellulose is soaked in a 20% sodium hydroxide solution for about 3 hours. The purified cellulose is then treated with carbon disulfide to get a pale yellow syrup like liquid called viscose. Viscose is passed through the fine pores of metal cylinders containing dilute sulfuric acid. Finally, the cellulose filaments are spun into rayon yarn. Cellulose plus sodium hydroxide gives alkali cellulose. Alkali cellulose plus carbon disulfide gives orange colored suspension which appear as small fragments of beads. Now, orange colored suspension plus sodium hydroxide gives viscose solution. Viscose solution plus sulfuric acid gives cellulose filament. And again, cellulose filament gives rayon yarn. Now, characteristics of rayon. It is soft, smooth, shiny and lustrous. It is wrinkle resistant. It can absorb moisture such as sweat. It does not insulate the body heat. Hence, it is generally preferred in summers. It is stronger and has greater resistance to wear and tear. It is not attacked by bases but attacked and degraded in presence of hot and dilute acid. It is cheaper than natural fibers. Fabric and garments made from rayon. Uses It is used for making surgical gauze and bandage to cover wounds as it is highly absorbent. It is used for making fabric for clothing and furnishing. It is soft and comfortable and is used to make carpets. It is cheaper than silk but has properties like silk. It is used to make containers, car upholstery etc. Now it's time for an extra mile. Rayon was first made in the USA and later in Europe through a modified process. In 1894, Charles Frederick Cross, Edward John Bivane and Clayton Biddle patented their silk, which they called viscose. Nylon Nylon fabric is a polyamide made from petroleum. It is lightweight, strong and durable. It is made of repeating units linked by peptide bonds. It was the first commercially successful polymer. Now it's again time for an extra mile. Nylon was the first synthetic fiber produced. It was discovered by Wallace Carothers in 1935. The name nylon was derived from New York and London as it was produced in New York and London almost at the same time. Nylon is obtained from two monomers, a diacid and a diamine by polymerization. There are many types of nylon, for example, nylon 66, nylon 6, nylon 611, etc. So, these are the pictures of some material which are made from nylon. Preparation of nylon 66 it is obtained by polymerization of adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine. Both of these react to form a salt. The salt heated to high temperature and under high pressure. Polymerizes with the elimination of water as steam and the nylon, thus formed in the molten state. Molten nylon is passed through the fine holes of a spinneret to form fibers or filaments. 
Now, adipic acid plus hexamethylene diamine gives nylon 66 plus water. Characteristics of nylon. Nylon fiber are elastic and are very strong. It is abrasion resistant. It also resistant towards insect, fungi, molds and chemicals. It is insoluble in all common solvents. It does not absorb water and has drip dry property. It has a variable luster and hence it can be lustrous, dull or semi lustrous. It is warm to wear and can easily shrink. Uses It is used for the manufacture of tire cords. Nylon is usually mixed or blended with wool or rayon to manufacture carpets, textile, fibers, bristles or brushes, track suits, swimsuits, and it dries quicker. Fishing nets, strings of badminton and parachutes. Nylon ropes are elastic and do not break easily. So, they are used in mountaineering to handle heavy loads. Nylon thread is very stronger than natural fibers, so it can be made much thinner and used to form fine women's stockings. Nylon is used as it is very elastic and can regain its shape quickly. Polyester Polyester is a polymer which contains ester functional group in their chain. The term polyester refers to polyethylene terephthalate. Polyester fabric is a versatile and important man-made fabric. The fabric has an outstanding characteristic of resisting wrinkle and springing back onto smooth shape. It is strong and soft. The fabric is resistant to starching and shrinkage. It requires minimum care and is easily washable. Preparation of PET Polyethylene Terephthalate it is made from two monomers. First one is terephthalic acid and the second one is ethylene glycol by polymerization. Terephthalic acid plus ethylene glycol gives polyethylene terephthalate that is PET, terylene or dacrine plus water. In its first stage, esterification takes place at a high temperature and moderately high pressure. The second stage involves polymerization at high temperature and low pressure. Molten or viscous molecules are passed from spinneret to give rise to terylene. The PET thus formed is either directly changed into fiber or first made into fiber. This polyester is known as terylene or dacrin. Characteristic of dacrin. It is strong stretchable and durable. It is chemically inert and resistant to most chemicals. It is abrasion resistant and resistant to shrinking and stretching. It does not get damaged by sunlight or weather. It has high tenacity, low water absorption and dries quickly. It can be easily washed. It is fine, smooth, light in weight and highly elastic. It is easily come back to its original shape when the load on it is released. Uses Polyester is used for the manufacture of dresses, jackets, sports wear, shirts, suits, children wear, rain wear, etc. Polyester when blended with cotton forms polycot and on combining with wool it forms fairy wool or polywool. Polyester fabric is used as fiber fill in pillows and upholstery. It is used in consumer apparel and home furnishing such as bed sheets, bed spreads and certain draperies. PET is a form of polyester used for making bottles, utensils, films, wires etc. Its film is extremely flexible, tear resistant and resistant to ultraviolet degradation. Hence it is used for making magnetic recording tapes. Polyester is used for making firehouses because of its light weight. These fire bases can be transported easily due to less space occupied. 
so children these are the pictures of the products that are made from polyester acrylic acrylic fiber has a feel similar to that of wool it contains 85% of acrylonitrile acrylics are the chemical compounds that contain the acrylic group derived from acrylic acid acrylic fibers are the synthetic fiber obtained from polymerization of acrylonitrile they are also known as aurian or acrylian fibers characteristics of acrylic it is lightweight soft and warm it dyes well and has a property of color fastness it is resistant to insects chemicals wrinkles and shrinkage it retained its original shape and does not deteriorate even when exposed to sunlight now its uses acrylic is used to make sweaters shawl blankets and carpets furnishing track suits and lining for boots acrylic is used to make bath enclosures windows etc now these are the products that are made from acrylic advantages of synthetic fibers clothes made of synthetic fibers have become very popular because of the following reasons they are quick drying and need very little or no ironing so they are called wash and wear fabrics they are elastic elasticity refers to the ability of a material to regain its original shape after stretching or compressing synthetic fibers have high tensile strength and hence they can handle heavy loads without breaking they last longer than fabrics made from natural fibers now there is an another activity and the aim of this activity is to compare the water absorbing capacity of natural and synthetic fibers and the material required is two cloth piece of the same size one made up of any synthetic fiber like nylon or rayon and the other one made of a natural fiber like wool or silk two mugs or beakers and water now procedure soak the cloth pieces into two different mugs or beakers each containing the same amount of water after 10 minutes remove the pieces of clothes and dry them in the sun compare the volume of water left in each mug and find which piece of the cloth has absorbed more amount of water in it which of them dries faster observation the cloth made of natural fiber soaks more water than the cloth made of synthetic fiber hence the cloth made of synthetic fiber dries faster than the cloth made of natural fiber conclusion the natural fibers have more water absorbing capacity now disadvantages most synthetic fibers absorb very little moisture they become sticky in hot and humid climate and make the wearer uncomfortable Synthetic fibers melt and burn easily. Synthetic fibers on catching fire shrink forming beads which stick to the skin. Therefore it is not advisable to wear synthetic fiber when working via fire as in kitchen. They are known biodegradable hence cause soil pollution. Synthetic fibers generate electricity and may cause skin problems to people. Blended fibers mixture of two different fibers results in the formation of blended fibers in this synthetic fibers is mixed with the natural fiber generally but two similar fibers for example both natural fiber may also be mixed to form blended fibers this is the chart of showing some examples of blended fibers now fibers blended fibers fibers polyester and cotton makes polycot polyester and wool make terry wool and poly wool cotton and wool makes cots wool it has the properties of both for example natural fibers are comfortable to wear but they are not very strong also they shrink when washed and are readily attacked by mold however synthetic fibers are very strong and do not shrink dry up quickly are durable easily available less expensive easy to maintain and are resistant to mold attack but they are not very comfortable to wear 
Hence, blended fibers have advantages of both and are free from their disadvantages. Plastic Plastics are polymers which can be melted and molded. They contain very large molecules that are made by adding together many small molecules, polymer. Some plastics have a linear arrangement of the units and some have a cross-linked arrangement of the units. Plastics can be cast into various shapes and sizes. They are available in all forms, sizes and shapes. Plastics can be recycled, reused, colored, melted, rolled into sheets or made into wires. Hence, it has various uses. Types of plastics. There are two types of plastics. Thermoplastic. Plastic which can be melted and molded onto any desired shape are called thermoplastics. Thermo means heat and plastic means the ability to melt and mold. Thermoplastic can be bent easily and get soft, deformed and viscous on heating but become rigid on cooling. Thermoplastics can be softened on heating and molded repeatedly without any change in the chemical composition of plastic. PVC, polytyrene, polyethylene, polyethene, polyester are some common thermoplastics. Thermoplastics are good for making toys, beads, buckets, telephone and television cases. Thermosetting plastics. Thermosetting plastics can be heated once and sent into solid pattern. They are permanent. These cannot be remelted and remolded. They retain their shape and size even at high temperature. For example, bakelite and melamine are some of the examples of thermosetting plastics. Now again, we have another activity and the aim of this activity is to show the effect of heat on thermoplastics to be demonstrated by the teacher. Material required an empty plastic bottle or hot water. Procedure, take the empty plastic bottle, pour hot water in it and observe. Observation, the plastic bottle gets deformed. Conclusion, thermoplastic becomes soft and get deformed on heating. Properties of plastics, non-reactive. Plastics are not affected by air, water, soil, etc. Thus, they are used to store all kinds of things, for example, food items such as water, milk, pickles, etc. All are sorted in plastic bottles. It does not get corroded, hence is also used to store chemicals. Light, strong and durable. Plastic are light, strong and durable and can be molded into different shapes and sizes. Conductivity. Plastic are poor conductors of heat and electricity. This is why they are used for making handles of cooking containers, electrical appliances, cords, etc. Chemical reactivity. Plastic are not affected by acids and alkalis. Use of common synthetic plastics. Polythene or polyethylene. It is used for making sheets, sachets for packing for making containers, for storing water, oil and other materials, for waterproofing and for making pipes, for transporting water and other liquids. Polyvinyl chloride, PVC. It is used in the manufacture of raincoats, handbags, plastic toys, bathroom curtains, etc. Manufacture of flooring and floor ceiling tiles. Manufacture of insulation cover in electrical wires or cables. Making of snow soles and shoes. Polystyrene. It is used for making hot drink cups, toys, household articles, etc. As safe packaging materials. As an insulating material. For making styrofoam. Acrylic. It is also called Perspex, it is used for making lenses, aircraft, window screw, for domes and skylights. Teflon, it is a polymer of 
tetrafluoroethylene. It is used for making non-stick cookware in chemical industry as corrosion proof coating. Bakelite. It is used for making electrical switches and plugs. For making gear wheels and tabletop laminates. For making combs, fountain pen bodies, phonograph records. Melamine. It is used for manufacturing of unbreakable dinnerware and decorating objects. For manufacturing of fire resistant kitchen wares such as microwave and clothing such as uniforms of fireman. It has the greater ability to resist heat and fire. Plastics pollution. Plastics are durable which means that they last for a long time. They have long life and are resistant to chemical biological action. This can cause problems because they are not easily decomposed by natural processes and are known as non-biodegradable materials which do not get easily decomposed through natural processes such as action by bacteria. Now, the table is showing time taken to decompose. Type of waste, approximate time taken to degrade, nature of matter. Vegetables and fruit peels, leftover food, stuff, etc. Two weeks and it's a biodegradable. Paper, it takes 10 to 30 days and it's also the biodegradable. Wood, 10 to 15 years, it's a biodegradable. Cotton cloth, 2 to 5 months, it's also a biodegradable. Woolen cloth, it took 1 year and it's a biodegradable. Aluminium, tin and other metals, 100 to 500 years and it is non-biodegradable. Plastic bags, several thousand years and it's a non-biodegradable. An accumulation of plastics is considered as a very serious problem because it results in environmental pollution. Hazards associated with plastic disposal. Plastics that get buried in the soil cannot be decomposed by microorganisms. It prevents the rainwater to seep into the earth. This affects plants growth in the area as they do not get enough water from the soil. Plastic weights, littering on roadsides, floating in lakes and streams and collection in ugly dump provide homes for diseases causing microbes and germs. When these plastic based materials such as polythene bags containing food wastes are eaten by the animals such as cows, dogs, they lead to choking of their respiratory system, blocking of digestion processes and ultimately death. Plastic wastes dumped in water bodies result in water pollution. They also pose a threat to marine animals as either they get entangled in plastic debris or ingest the plastic wastes containing toxins. When plastics are burned, they release a lot of toxic gases and poisonous fumes, smoke in the atmosphere adding to air pollution. Solution to plastic pollution. Recycling. This is probably the best way to dispose the plastic. Two colored bins, that is a green bin and a blue bin have been issued by the municipality. Biodegradable wastes such as vegetables, food items and papers are to be thrown into green bin. While non-biodegradable recyclable waste such as plastics and glasses are to be thrown into the blue bin. Recycling of plastic involves collecting, sorting and processing plastic wastes with an aim to reuse the material in manufacturing other products. Say no to plastic. Use minimum plastic material. When you go for shopping, take your own cotton or jute bag. Avoid throwing plastic wastes on the roadside and in water bodies. Rather make sure to put them in the blue bin. Do not burn plastics, they pollute the air. Avoid storage of eatables in plastic bags as recycling of dry and clean plastic is easy. As a responsible citizen, remember the 4R principle. Reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. Develop habits that are environment friendly. Now it's time for Reader's Digest.
A fiber is a material used for weaving cloth which may be natural or synthetic. Synthetic fibers are rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic etc. Synthetic fibers are durable, color resistant and easy to dry. They neither shrink nor wrinkle. Rayon is artificial silk. It is manufactured by regenerated cellulose fiber. Nylon is used for making carpets, textile fabrics, track suit, bristle for brushes, combat, uniform, swim wears and parachutes. So students, it's time to take your leave. We'll meet in the next class. Bye.